Hello there, today we're going to be looking at how to install and run mods for Empire or Forces of Corruption. We're going to be using Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War, but this will work for any Forces of Corruption mod. So we're going to be looking at how to do this for retail, for so the disc version, for GOG, as well as for Steam. So you can look in the description, there will be the timestamps for where each one of those start, and they'll each be self-contained there. So the first one we're going to be looking at is how to install it from Steam off the Steam Workshop. This is probably the easiest way to do it, and we do recommend that uh, anyone who doesn't have Empire War on Steam does look into that because uh, Petroglyph does still patch the Steam version, and it's also uh, the Workshop allows us to do automatic updates for Throne Revenge, so we're able to uh, push more frequent packet patches. Uh, but anyways, there is a link in the description in the Steam section to this page, the workshop page, all you have to do is go there, click subscribe, and then it'll start downloading. Um, you can go to your download section here, you'll see that it is downloading. Uh, there used to be a bug, which I think was recently fixed, where it wouldn't show when it was when the mods were downloading. I don't know if that's going to accidentally come back or something, but just be advised that that is a thing that can happen. You can have, have it subscribed and then it could just not show your downloads here. So you give that enough time to finish and I'm going to go back here to show you how to run it. So in order to run the mod you can either use the in-game launcher when it's done. So that's where you go into the main menu of Forces of Corruption and then you choose it from the mods list. Um, but some people report that not working. So there's also uh, instructions here on how to do or how to run the mod a separate way to make it just automatically launch Thrawn's Revenge when you want to. So you just need to copy this Steam mod equals 112557106 and you can just keep a copy of this somewhere or you can just leave it on the page but you go into your library uh, you go to properties for Empire at War set launch options and paste this in here so it looks something like this so this is all you need to do now when you launch Forces of Corruption it will launch the mod but you do need to make sure you give it enough time to finish downloading and unpacking. It can take a while uh, just because it, it's such a large mod, it's about five gigabytes, but that is how you do it. So next we're gonna be looking at the GOG version of Empire War. So in order to do this, you're gonna to wanna to save, when you're downloading the mod, there's a link to the download page in the description. You just need to save as, and you wanna save it to, uh, the default path is local disk C, program files x86, GOG Galaxy, Games, Star Wars Empire at War Gold, EAWX, this is the Forces of Corruption uh, file path. Then you want to go into Mods. If this folder doesn't exist, this Mods folder, all you have to do is create it. So you can just right click New Folder and then that'll let you create your Mods folder if you do not have one. So you go into here and this is where you're going to want to save it to. Uh, so I've already got it downloaded here but this is where you're gonna to wanna to download it to. Then you're gonna right click the zip file. You're gonna do extract here. This can take uh, a couple minutes to do, but it'll go through this process here. And then when it's done, uh, this, min this window will go away. So I'm just gonna to cut to when it's done and I will show you how to run the mod after that. All right, so when it's done, you should have some folders that look like this. You'll have the Imperial Civil War folder or Imperial Civil War 2.2. You'll have the play Imperial Civil War .bat file and you'll have the readme file. So in order to make sure that this has installed correctly, you want to make sure that your file path goes Empire War Gold, EAWX, Mods, and then Imperial Civil War 2.2, or 2.2, and then Data. So there will be more folders in it than that. Uh, so yeah, so we have that folder that is set up correctly, and then you're going to want to cut this from your Mods folder, into your EAWX folder. So your play Imperial Civil War .bat file goes into EAWX. And if you don't have show file extension turned on, this will just be called play Imperial Civil War. That is completely fine. Uh, so in order to play the mod now, all you have to do is double click this. Uh, and also keep in mind that the important thing is that this file is in the same folder as this file. So your EXE for Forces of Corruption. All right, so that covers it for GOG. Now we're gonna move on to the retail disc version of the game. Finally, we have the disc version. 
Uh, so for this one, you are going to want to download the mod from the download link in the description from Mod Database. You're going to want to save it into program files, LucasArts, Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption, and then Mods. Uh, so this is the default path. If you've changed your installation settings uh, when you're installing the game, it'll probably be a little different. But once it's in here, once you have the Imperial Civil War 2.2.zip file in here, you're going to want to right-click and extract here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this up. Uh, I'm going to cut to when it's done. This will finish through here. It can take a little bit of time, uh, but when it's done, you will have something that looks like this. So uh, you're going to have the... Now you're going to have the Imperial Civil War 2.2 folder. You're going to have the play Imperial Civil War .bat file, and then it might not say .bat. You, that would just mean you don't have file extension showing. That's completely fine. You'll also have the README, uh, which has the change log, installation instructions, and credits. So uh, just to make sure it's correct, you want to make sure that the file path goes Empire at War Force of Corruption, Mods, Imperial Civil War 2.2, Data, and then there will be a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, there'll be more than just art. I just canceled the extraction early because I didn't want to sit here for that long. But uh, that is how that all should look right now. So what you need to do next, you need to cut this file. So the Play Imperial Civil War file. You're going to go back into your Forces of Corruption folder. And then you are going to paste it here. So the way that you actually run the game is you double click the Play Imperial Civil War .bat file here. You can also, uh, if you want to have a desktop shortcut, you can just right click it, send to desktop, create shortcut. And then that's it. That's all you have to do to install it. If you do have any problems uh, with any of these methods, you can just leave a comment uh, in the comment section here and I will try to help whomever has an issue. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the mod.